I'm Jeff, and this is my wife, Nicole, and uh, this is our dog, Baxter. He was always a really healthy dog, and uh, he was quite the athlete. He's an integrated part of our daily lives, and we have so many memories of, of hiking and exploring the mountains. We've got a huge flight of stairs, and so he'd come stairs. up the stairs in kind of an odd way, like he'd be dragging his feet a little bit. But it's just kind of the things you think like, oh, that's weird. Well, maybe he's just a little bit sore because we were playing today, or you know, we went for a long walk or something like that, so we just kind of brush it off a little bit. He was laying down, and I asked him to stand up, and I noticed that he was having a difficult time getting up, and it was concerning. I wanted to see what was happening. I wanted to get more information. I wanted to um, see if he could do things that he typically does. And so I asked him to jump up on the bed, and he did. And he screamed. And then he laid on the bed, and he just cried and cried and cried. We put him in the car and uh, take him to the specialty clinic. She said that it was um, a tumor, potentially a peripheral nerve sheath tumor. It was weaving in and out of his spine just at the base of his tail, so it was inoperable. It was just, it was a shock to both of us. Yeah, it was devastating. The possibility of actually losing him and then the kind of prognosis that we got that it would be that he would be dying within months and that it would be an excruciatingly painful death for him was very, very yeah. difficult. It was heart-wrenching. I went Google crazy. You know, peripheral nerve sheath tumor, spinal tumor, inoperable tumors, you know, Googling every everything I could possibly <laughs> think of. And finally, I stumbled on this article about cyber knife treatment. My understanding is that it's so precise that they can do the typical 18 or 19 doses, whatever is typical for radiation, in one to three treatments. It was, it's not a cheap procedure. It was a chance to do this, not knowing how things would turn out, but it's been, it's been great. It really was remarkable. I mean, almost instantly we could tell the difference. It was I mean, fast. Like, was it like that less first than a week, week he was coming up the stairs? That by first and week, like... a friend of ours had recommended that we get health insurance, and 11 months after that is when we had the first major signs that there was a problem. Healthy Paws really came through for us. On yeah. That. We wouldn't have been, well, <laughs> it would have been close to impossible to, to come up with, the, with those kinds of resources to, to go down and do that, so. That was a huge, huge part of his story and his outcome. They were as big as anything else and how they supported us. In fact, Nicole and I have often joked that as far as his health insurance and the, the treatment that he got, it's probably a lot better than, <laughs> than, what, than, we've than what, what we've been doing. Yeah. Everybody kind of came through and everything fell into place perfectly for, for Baxter. We'll always be grateful for that. I have our undying gratitude for, for what they were able to do for him. Mm -hmm.